going on everyone? It's Katie Pop here coming at you with a brand new video. This is me messaging the usual director. Probably just point the focus square at your face. How do I do that? Oh, okay, so I can just put it where I think my face is. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a different one today. I'm at a different location at my mum's place. She's just gonna have surgery, so I'm taking care of her, but I still wanted to get a video out for you guys. I thought it would be fun if I did a little bit of photo card organizing and we just had a little bit of a chat. Getting the setup done was crazy, <laughs> but we're here. I've got some sort of setup going on here. I've got my folder, all the things I need to organize my photo cards. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I opened up all of Ace's new albums, the My Girl, My Choice albums. I still haven't organized all the photo cards, so here they are in a pile and yeah, it's been weighing on my mind. So I think now is a really good opportunity to just get it done. If you haven't watched those videos, please go check them out. I had a lot of fun with those, especially my speed opening of one of the pocket albums. That was one of the most fun things I've done on camera. I feel like it might be good to show you all the things that I have sitting here first. So I'll use my second camera here so we can get a good look. Well, you can see my setup. There's the camera in the corner there. Not as fancy as the camera we usually use, but uh, I've got my audio going, laptop. So yeah, I'm using like four different pieces of technology here and just trying to get it done. All right, let's have a little look. So I have my Ace folder here with a cute little bear sticker on there. These label makers are the best thing ever. I have all my folders and all my drawers and things labeled like this to keep everything organized. It's one of the only things that's organized in my house is my K-pop collection. <laughs> my Ace folder. I showed you guys on the other camera. So my pile of photo cards I need to organize. I think most of them are sleeved, but some of them aren't. Let me try and do this with one hand now. Yeah, so I've sleeved all the album ones, I think, but the pobs I haven't sleeved yet. So I'll do that for you guys. These are the sleeves that I use. They're called Popcorn Games Hard Sleeves. They're really nice. They're really like thick and they're the right kind of size for the photo cards. Like I'll show you one. Yeah, you can see it fits it completely perfectly. And yeah, they're really nice and thick and durable. So these are definitely my favorites. I buy them off this eBay seller, actually. Um, it must be someone that just orders a bunch in from Korea because I think they're made in Korea. Um, and yeah, I just buy them off them. I think they're about $10 a packet for 50. So not super cheap, but honestly, the quality is so much better than those other like really thin ones that you can get or you know, the ones that are like really big and the photo cards just float around in them. That always drives me crazy. Like I want a nice like tight fit and yeah, nice thick durable plastic. So those are the ones that I use for that. And the sleeve, like the page sleeves that I use, I've got a lot here. Josh dropped off all of um, this stuff yesterday. And yeah, he's like, I don't know how many pages you're gonna need. So yeah, I think I've got about like 20 here, but these are the ones that I use. They are Select from Card Armor. These aren't actually my favorite ones. Um, my favorite ones, I've got an example actually in here. So these are my favorite ones. Champions with the gold on the edge there. Um, these ones, I don't think they just, they look a bit nicer with this perforated thing instead of the line. I know that's a bit of a weird thing to worry about, but they just look nicer and the plastic feels a bit, a bit better. The only thing is I can't really find these anywhere anymore. I used to buy them off eBay, um, from one of those, it's like a place where they just sell all different types of things for trading cards, like for baseball cards and yeah, all sports cards and game cards and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they used to have these on the eBay store and now they don't have them anymore. So I've been getting these. You can buy them in big boxes of a hundred pages and they're not too expensive. They're pretty affordable. So I like those ones. 
What else have we got? I've got a washi tape here and pen. Um, I'll show you when I start doing it, but I will basically label the pages where there's photo cards, where there's photo cards missing. Like I'll put a little tab on here and write like a description of the cards that I'm missing so I can flip through and see which ones I'm missing. And over here, I've got my laptop with the template on here. So I can see like what all the photo cards are, which ones I have, which ones I'm missing. I'm obviously still missing a lot of the photo cards because these are the only ones that I have so far, but I will probably buy some more and do some trading. I think that's all the stuff I wanna show. Well, I also have this doll here <laughs> that I bought yesterday, which I really love. She's so cute. It's a LOL surprise doll, but it um is a collaboration with Hello Kitty for their 50th anniversary. So I bought it from Kmart. It's like in one of those little ball things. Actually, where's the ball? Eww. Here's the ball that it came in. Yeah, lol surprise. Hello Kitty. And it comes with all the paper bags with all the different like bits and pieces. Each bag has, you know, one of these little pieces that goes onto her. But it's so cute. I want to get more of them because I think it's just adorable. So yeah, who's been keeping me company? Uh, I do want to mention that I got that template off. Twitter from a user called um, Junhee's Nibbles. <laughs> so um, translate that into what you will, but I just wanted to thank them for the template. All right, so I might start by sleeving these, um, these pobs. These are the pobs. I think these ones were the ones from the, um, the normal version albums because I only have three of them. And then these ones are the ones from the Pocket albums, the flower ones. I really like these, they're very cute, double-sided ones. These ones don't have anything on the back, but they do have that like holographic shine, which is pretty cool. Oh, he's so cute. The little winking. We love winking. All right, so I'm gonna sleeve these up. Look this like, Kind of a lot of exciting stuff going on in K-pop at the moment. There's one thing in particular, well, two things in particular that I'm very excited about. The first one is, um, I mentioned in the previous video very briefly, um, when I popped my champagne that only one of are coming to Melbourne um, and Sydney. They're doing two shows. So I'm very, very excited for that. They have announced the dates and that's about it. So they haven't announced the venues or any of the, you know, VIP benefits or anything yet. So every day I'm checking socials like a mad woman trying to see if they've announced the venues because I have actually already booked my flights to Sydney because I want to go to both shows. And yeah, I don't even know where the concert is even going to be. And I've booked my flights. So I've sleeved those up and get some pages going. This is looking kind of dusty. Maybe I need to keep them in a sealed box. I've got the, the box of a hundred, but they're um, like just open to the elements. So I think they've gotten a bit dusty. Oh, this is hurting my legs sitting cross-legged like this. Ah, usually I'm in a nice like a nice comfy office chair with like a table in front of me and like a really nice setup. And yeah, I'm just chaotically like sitting cross-legged on a bed and trying to film this video. But I think it's, I think it's going all right so far. I'm just trying to keep those, those casual vibes, you know? Um, so I'm going to have a quick look at this template. Oh my gosh, there's so many and I have like none of them. So I think what I'm planning to do for this is probably just collect all of Jun and yeah, I think it's going to be too much to collect. Um, OT4, well, Ace are always OT5, but for this comeback, there was only four of them. Um, but yeah, there's nine photo cards per version for each member. And that's for the photo card album ones. And then also the poker. So there's yeah, 18 photo cards per member. And then six group ones. So two group ones for each of the photo card, 
each of the photo book versions. That's a lot of photo cards. <laughs> what is 18 times four? Oh God, I can't do that in my head. Let's just quickly. <laughs> 72 plus the six group ones. So 78 photo cards, just album photo cards. So that's not even, obviously not including pobs as well. Um, so I don't really know if I want to commit to that. <laughs> not at the moment anyway, maybe in the future, like I can look at um, collecting a few more of them. But I think what I'll do first is probably just like sort them into members. Um, Cause I usually like to have, yeah, it's separated by the member. And then for the pobs, I'll probably just keep those together, like in the sets, even though it's kind of annoying that I don't have a full set for these ones. Um, I should probably definitely buy that cause that's gonna really bother me. <laughs> but then also, Oh, that's gonna, all right, let's do this first. Cause I'll just put the pobs into this folder. And I think what I will do, which is actually, this is kind of weird. I feel like a lot of people don't do this. A lot of people order them by like maybe age or something like that, but I quite like doing it alphabetically. <laughs> so I'll go with BK first. And then who have we got? Dongen, Jun, and then wow. So we've got them in there alphabetically. And then I guess I'll just put the next lot of pobs in straight after that in alphabetical so we don't have BK. I actually might leave a space for that because now that I'm thinking about it, I really want to buy that because it's going to really bother me. So we'll just leave a space there. Put Dong in, Jun, wow. And then that's actually kind of annoying because we're going to have that one free. Um, yeah. But it would have been the same issue if we had all five members as well because then we'd have 10. And then we'd have just like one extra one over here. So either way, we'd be pretty doomed. But because I've decided that I'm going to buy that, that pob, I will just put like a little piece of washi tape on there. So what do I call this one? Mm. BK make star hollow. I don't exactly know what these ones are called. I think these were like round one, round one make star. That'll do. I know what I'm looking for. All right. So that's the pobs done. And I will now organize these into members. I think they go. Yeah. So back to the only one of thing. I cannot wait. I've seen so many videos from like their American tour and stuff and it looks absolutely insane. I really hope that they're just as unhinged or more unhinged when they come to Australia because they really can be, you know, you can get away with a lot <laughs> in Australia. I feel like they tend to be a bit more reserved or groups in general tend to be a bit more reserved when they're doing shows like in Korea and Japan, but then when they go overseas, they can kind of like, yeah, just loosen up a little bit, which is always fun. Well, trying to do this while I'm talking is like <laughs> multitasking at its finest. Um, luckily I know the members really well, so I can organize them pretty quickly, but yeah, I've got a couple of doubles in here. I thought I'd taken all the doubles out. Hmm. Yeah, because when Josh was um, trying to find all these photo cards for me yesterday, we were on video chat. Um, yeah, he found a small pile of ace ones. I was like, no, no, that's my doubles. But then I've got a double here that I've still got. So I don't understand why one of those isn't in the doubles pile. Oh, well. Huh. Maybe I decided that I wanted to keep both of these or something. The other thing that I think is really exciting in K-pop right now, um, Road to Kingdom 2. Okay, I'm so excited 
I think it's going to be amazing. It's probably going to be very traumatic um, because these, you know, reality, reality K-pop shows where groups are competing or, you know, single idols are competing against each other are always so emotional. And I did watch the original, well, the first Road to Kingdom and then Kingdom that came after that. Um, and it was quite a while ago now. So I wasn't as into K-pop back then. And especially Road to Kingdom, I wasn't super familiar with a lot of the groups. Um, One Us was actually in Road to Kingdom 1. And they are now pretty much my favorite group. But I wasn't, like I was a fan of them back then, but I wasn't, you know, they weren't my alt group. And they ended up getting eliminated actually during the show, spoilers, um, which was devastating. Um, But yeah, I think this time it's just going to hit a lot harder because I actually really like a lot of the groups that they're bringing in to Road to Kingdom 2 because you've got, um, I can't remember all the lists off the top of my head now, but it's Zykers, Kravity, um, 8 Turn, I think TNX, Atbo, Tempest, I feel like I've forgotten a couple, but yeah, the lineup is absolutely insane. Like some of the best, I think they're mostly Gen 4 groups, maybe a couple of Gen 5, but yeah, I'm a big fan of most of the groups. So I think it's going to be crazy. I'm actually probably the most excited to see what Zykers can do um, because there is so many of them in the group and they just have incredible stage presence. I think they could put on some really good performances. We saw 80s obviously in Kingdom and they smashed it. Um, And yeah, I think KQ just really produces these idols that have such charisma on stage and with the money that they'll put, I think KQ will put a bit of money into Zykers for Road to Kingdom. And yeah, I think some of the stages could be pretty special. So So I haven't completely decided what I'm going to do yet for Road to Kingdom, but I do want to make it a bit of an aspect of my channel. So even if it's like a bit of a recap at the start of the weekly video, or I kind of do like a quick, not so edited video every week as a recap, I think that could be really fun because I think I'm really going to enjoy this show and I will definitely be keeping up to date with it as it goes on. So Let me know if that's something that you might be interested in seeing me talk about. And also, I guess, if you have any ideas of how you think I could do that, I would really appreciate that. So let me know in the comments and yeah, look forward to it. Okay. I think I've organized them into members now. So let's start with Jun because that's who I'm going to be collecting. I hope that I've organized these correctly. It looks like I have. It looks like I've got the most. Wow. Actually, this is kind of interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. One, two, three, four, five Dongan and three BK and then that extra double one and then four Jun here. And then I've got two of the group ones. So two out of the six group ones. I might try and get all of these actually. That could be pretty easy. Well, maybe not because they were randomly distributed through the album. So you weren't guaranteed to get a group one. So they actually might be kind of difficult to get, but we'll see. I haven't really started like looking on Instagram or Facebook or anything yet um, to see if I can find things. It is a little difficult to collect ACE in Australia. There's not really a huge fan base. Um, I know a few people in the collector world for Ace, but even the people that used to collect them quite, you know, heavily back before military era, um, some of them have dropped off a little bit. So yeah, I think it's just going to be more difficult. I might have to actually sort of talk to some people in the US or something to try and get some of these, but that's okay. We can do that. Just might be a bit more expensive with the shipping and everything, but that's okay. We will do it for Ace. So I think for Jun, like I will just do the actual pages with all the washi tape and everything. So I know what I have to get. 
The other ones for now, I will probably just put them into the pages as they are. Um, and then if I decide to collect them later, I'll do the proper, yeah, splitting them up and putting the, the washi tape and everything. So let's have a look at the template. I actually haven't really seen all of these photo cards yet. I feel like Josh is going to see all this footage and this chaos. Like, look at this chaotic and be like, what is this? What did you film? All right. Let's have a look at my man. See, I really love that one. That's great. <laughs> Biting the tie. The ID card one. I don't have that, do I? I'll put these here so I can see. Can't believe I only have four out of... Oh, four out of nine isn't that bad, I guess. So these are the ones that I have. Um, so season one, I didn't get any of his, I don't think. No, that's sad. So there's the tie one, the ID card one, and then basically the same photo again, but without the ID showing. And then season two. Oh no, sorry, I got four out of um, out of eighteen because these are from both the album ones and the podcast. So yeah, four out of eighteen, <laughs> which is not great. So in the album. The photo book albums, I did not get any for season two either. And then season three, I got that that one there with the, the ring. Oh my gosh, the other ones for season three are actually better than the one that I got. <laughs> That's so annoying. And the season two ones, they're probably the least interesting, I think, the season two ones, but still very cute. Do they all have one where he's winking in each in each season. No, just season two and season three. Yeah, those ones are very cute. Oh my gosh, there's one of Don with his dog. Oh, I need that one. I actually need that so bad. What are the other ones? Are they all, have they all got one where they're chewing their tie? Oh no, they just decided to do that. Oh, BK has one there. And WoW said, absolutely not. I'm not doing that. <laughs> that tracks. That really tracks with his personality. Yeah, there's some really cute ones. All right, so that's the album, the photo book versions, and then we've got the the pocket albums and the group ones. So where's the group ones that I have? These are the group ones that I have. So one of them was from season one, and then the other one is from season three, I believe, because that's from that concept. Is this good content? <laughs> yeah, season three. All right. And then we have the pocket album ones. So for Jun, we got two from season one, which is great. That means we only have one left to get for that one. And then that one from season two. And that's all. So two more from season two, Poker, and then all three from the other one. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my gosh, that one's so cute with the fairy wings. Need that. No, I need all of them, but you know, there's always going to be photo cards that I like more than others, right? That one's kind of hot too. <laughs> all right, so yeah, obviously we still have a lot to get. And there's the full, the full list there of the, what was it? 78 photo cards or something. What should I do with the group ones? Like, I guess I'll just put them at the end. All right. So let's go in and put them in the order. So this one is number nine. No, number eight. So we can put that there. And that's the page for <laughs> the photo book versions. Wow, doing so well. And then these ones are one and two on the template. So we'll put those in there. And this one is number four. So we'll put that there. And that's the page for the pocket albums. 
So that is how we are going at the moment. <laughs> Pretty piss poor effort. All right, time to break up lots of washi tape. What else can we talk about? There's a lot of comebacks coming up. Like a lot of ones that I'm very excited for and my wallet is not excited for. Um, we've got Zero Base One pretty soon. Their new mini album. Um, the title track is called Pop or Make It Pop. Oh my God, what is the name of it? Something Pop. Um, but the song sounds really fun. I listened to the album sampler this morning. Um, yeah, just another really like fresh summery song. I really like the kind of back, the backtrack to it. Um, sounds like it's going to be a bop. I was actually really taken off guard by the, uh, the intro song. I think it's called Solar. Um, it was like this really heavy beat and I was like, what is this? It was very like not zero base one, but I was here for it because I do feel like they kind of need to gritty it up a little bit. I feel like eventually they will, but I guess Crush gave us a little bit of a taste of that because that did have the kind of noise music -y chorus that was a bit more um, dark and gritty. But yeah, I'm still excited for it. They, they look amazing, of course. What else do we have coming up? One Us has a, speaking of One Us, as I was before, I always am talking about One Us. Um, they have like a digital single coming out on the 22nd. Um, there hasn't been any like music spoilers yet, um, but they've started releasing some concept photos and oh my goodness, Hwan Wong looked so good in his pictures. I have to wait till tomorrow to get Xion, who's my bias, as you guys know. Um, yeah, that should be pretty cool. I think it's sort of like a pre-release before a mini album. I'm hoping. I don't just want them to do a digital single and then that be it. But yeah, super excited for that. It is my friend Megan's sort of first release, song release since she became a two moon. Um, my friend Caitlin and I, we managed to get her into One Us a few months ago um, during like the Christmas holidays. And now she's just obsessed. And I love that for her because I feel like everyone just needs to get into One Us because they're one of the best groups in my opinion. And not a lot of people think so, but slowly, slowly I'm getting them to take over people's minds. All right, so I put all of the washi tape on there. Um, usually I would have cut it a bit nicer, but because I'm trying to talk while I'm doing things, <laughs> I'm trying to just do it in a way that's, you know, still efficient, but I'm able to speak while I'm doing it. Um, so I think what I'll do is I might just make this, um, album season one. I'm trying to think how I want to write it. Mm. I think I will write album. Album, like album version, not Parker. Album season one. And then maybe have A, B, C. So then make this album season one C. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think I'll know what that means. <laughs> that's that's what matters, right? It doesn't matter if someone else sees this and they're like, what the hell does that mean? Album S1C. Let's do that. So that'll be album season one, A, B, C. And then season two. So album S2, that's A, so B, and then just label it like this. Come on, brain. Come on, brain. Album season three, A. 
album season three B. It actually helps if I say it out loud to be able to do it properly. Album season three C. And there we go. And then I'll do something similar for this one, but just write um, poker instead of album, I reckon. So for this one, oh, I've done this wrong, haven't I? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I, I swear I didn't do that on purpose. I feel like sometimes I, it seems like I'm one of those, um, not that I'm an influencer, I'm not an influencer at all, but one of those influencer that like purposely does things on camera just for views, like they'll, um, you know, just like spill a glass of orange juice or something like all over something they're working on just to know, you know, get engagement or some shit. I honestly didn't do that on purpose. These are the Poco ones and I wrote album on here. So that is incorrect. So what should I do? Should I just peel them all off and switch them around? I might just do that. Oh my gosh. How annoying. Okay. Maybe, uh, take that off. Huh? You gotta be careful about taking the washi tape off these pages. Sometimes it can leave like a little bit of residue, which isn't ideal. I think I'm going to get confused. <laughs> oh God. That's oh, all good. We got this. I'm put that on there. And then just switch them all around. Come on, Kate. You got this. Fighting. I bet you're all watching this. Well, I don't know how well you can see from that camera, but you're probably all watching and being like, no, that's the wrong thing. What are you doing? Look, at least I figured it out. Switchy, switchy. Um, the other comeback we've got coming up very soon is 80s golden hour. So all my favorite groups are having comebacks very close together, which, you know, is great because I get new music and new um, music videos and dances and albums and stuff. Um, but at the same time, financially, it's not ideal when this happens. <laughs> I have pre-ordered um, a lot of, not a lot of 80s, but I've pre-ordered some 80s already. Um Zero base one, I haven't pre-ordered anything yet. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty excited for 80s as well. The concept looks quite like, like a bit of a softer concept. So I'm wondering if the song might be, you know, a little bit more, like the last tracks have all been very powerful, heavy tracks. So it would be interesting if they decide to go a bit softer this time. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to hear it. Very, very excited. All right, have we fixed this? I think we've fixed it. So now we just have to finish writing these ones out. Album, season one, A. Album, season one, B. Album, season two, A. There we go. So we fixed it because <laughs> yeah, we only had that one album PC that we pulled from the album. And then for this one, oh, I'm gonna take that off. We need more tape again. Oh my God. What comebacks are you guys looking forward to? Um, I'm, I'm actually, you know that new group from RBW? Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what they're called now because it's just another one of those three letter groups. Um, RBX, oh God, what is that? <laughs> right, let me look it up quickly because otherwise it's gonna really bother me. NXD, yeah, let me know what comebacks you're looking forward to but also debuts um, because that just reminded me 
of this NXT group that I'm pretty excited for their debut because I really love RBW, as you guys know. Big fan of One Us, One We, um, Purple Kiss, uh, Card are like DSP Media, but they're part of RBW as well. So I just always feel like I really love all their idols and groups. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what these guys um, come up with. But oh, I've just read, I just read the album on there. Oh my god. All right, let's get one more. When I start talking about like comebacks and debuts, I just get like a bit excited and then my brain just can't braid anymore. All right. Poker. Okay. Poker season 1 C. All right, let me finish this and then Poker season 2 B. Poker season two C. Poker season three A. Poker season three B. Poker season three C. There we go. Now we've done it correctly. So that's what we have for June for this comeback for my girl, my choice comeback. And those can go in the folder. Oh my gosh, I feel like this video is going to go for way longer than I thought because I'm just sitting here talking shit. Oh my god, Josh is going to kill me. All right, <laughs> let's just get through this quickly. Um, all right, I'll just put these in the front for now. So then they're in the forefront of my memory. So that's him done. And then the other ones I think I'll just put into the pages as is. Um, probably in alphabetical again. Maybe I can give them their own page but some of them only have like a few for them so let's just see how we go my girl my choice yeah I'm not going to worry too much about ordering these I think BK, Donnan, um, and then I might, oh, that'll just fall now. Yep. Because there's only one left on there. I might just start wow on a different page because I got quite a lot of his ones. And yeah, as I said, I might go back and reorder these um, once I decide who I'm going to collect and make them a little bit more in order because I'm literally just chucking them in in whatever order. Oh, this is perfect because then we have the two group ones and I think I'll just put those in the end there of wow's ones. So yeah, got those pages there. I cannot wait until they do a comeback with all five of them. That's going to be so amazing. I'm very jealous of all the people who are going to their, um, cause they've announced a concert tour of the U S and they did like fan meets and stuff. So, so jealous. I really hope they come here one day. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not super, optimistic about it but you never know you never know maybe we'll even get them before um 80s come back again which would be absolutely mental um 80s have just as you probably know have just announced um like another world tour but i think is a world tour or just u.s tour anyway they've only announced the u.s dates so it means that we definitely won't get 80s this year again which we thought we might get them this year but unfortunately not there we go well thank you so much for joining me for that i know it was quite a bit different to my normal videos i did have fun though i know i was just talking a bit of smack the whole time um but i did have fun and i hope you enjoyed it as well if you did enjoy it maybe i can do some more casual videos like this where i just talk about my thoughts um, of k-pop like comebacks and events and things like that if you did enjoy this and my other videos, please consider liking and subscribing. I would appreciate it so, so much. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh.
bye. <laughs> that's my mum in the background, just mocking me there. No, that's fair enough. My sign off is pretty annoying. So is my intro though. Like, what's going on guys? What's going on guys? KT Pop here. Coming at you with a brand new video. All right.